Welcome. What you are watching is some footage of me playing on the invasion map, Buyer. It's an arena game type map. The way arena usually works is you are supposed to kill every member of the enemy team. There are no respawns. And if they camp to avoid being killed, then you just capture the control point and win that way. Buyer, however, is different from most arena maps in that there are two control points, and you can capture them right when the map begins, as opposed to having to wait a little bit. This map is fun. Sometimes. Because right now, random crits are also enabled on the map. And first blood crits are also enabled. First blood crits are okay, but random crits are not. You got roughly eight people on each team at the start. Odds are someone will get random crits. Then that guy will get the first kill, which means they're getting even more crits for free. This often amounts to one guy getting three or four kills in mere moments. And that kind of ruins the game when one team loses that many players practically at random. Luckily, the footage you see in the background is of a few games where that didn't happen, so it was actually kind of fun. Recently, the Halloween update arrived. It was announced early in October by Valve that the community would make cosmetics and maps for TF2 Halloween this year, and people would vote on them to get into the game. A month notice struck me as a short amount of time that I believed would yield very few new maps, probably one and maybe two new cosmetics. But I was wrong. We got 19 new cosmetics and 4 new maps. Also the manpower mode update that I believed would be at the end of the year also came out. So we got a 5th map and the updates to that game mode. We got more maps and, uh, and cosmetics than we got in the invasion update that was rumored for over a year. With that in mind, I kind of wish the invasion update didn't come out. I kind of wish it had been pushed back so it could have been more refined and not be easily outdone by this update. There is one thing that Valve kind of did wrong in this update, though. They added a free Halloween contract system where people were rewarded with old, ho old Halloween items. Sounds fun, but they kind of messed it up. You used to be able to get these items by finding them randomly on maps just by looking for the locations, but all the old locations where you could get the old Halloween items, gone. You have to use the free new contract system or you aren't getting those items. You have no choice. I wish they had kept the old way of getting those items in the game. I mean, removing it and replacing it with this possibly harder, possibly easier, free taste of a contract system feels wrong. It's like they were force feeding the contract system to us this time as opposed to making us pay into it. They're force f feeding it to you, making it free. It just doesn't feel right. It makes me think that when they bring back the must-pay money to participate contract system, everyone's going to get sucked in. Not because they want it, but because there's not much of an alternative. I'm worried they're not really going to give us a choice again. I like the new maps, I like the new cosmetics, I like the TF2 community, but I'm not sure I'm all in on what Valve has been doing. Next Saturday, I'll be playing tons of new maps for Extra Life, the new Halloween maps. I'm going to raise money for a children's hospital cancer research. I might post some videos of me playing, or I might get super tired while helping donate for children. Whichever I do, I hope you have had a happy Halloween, and I hope you all have a nice day. And if you're participating in Extra Life yourself, have fun. Later.